Starts off on the attack, so you can almost expect them to try and blitz into the site. Well, that's exactly what they're doing right away, attempting to split in towards the A site. Victor was quick, but now the shift key is being hit, trying to sneak his way over the wall, giving them space to fight in middle, not going their way, and Team Liquid. They're coming ahead in almost all of the duels. Victor, though, has he managed to thread the needle? It looks like they're aware of a mid push. Do they expect him to already be here, wrapped around behind no them, shot. coming from the bridge? Oh, oh he's okay. being caught off guard. That angle for Navera. Gone. The position of Navera, though, is interesting. He's got such deep control on B. They've actually been able to stack up somewhat towards this A site, although it seems like the read might be a little bit off, and yay. Well, our man has been superb, the top performer in this tournament so far, is going to get the first. Good answer back by screen, they spot FNS, that'll be a big scalp to take, a Viper wall down, but no, he will survive and instead delete Navera on the other side, with Yumpy having the chance for an opening duel, first blood in the round instead. Optic now have the advantage well and truly in their court, the spike planted, and they will hold back in their post plants. The defuse being tapped baits them into a swing, but the duels are theirs, and the round is two. Waiting for a fast-paced push. Marv, though, he might be able to turn things here. It's patient, and actually Demasic, even with the Guardian, is going to land the headshot, the remaining two, doubling back in towards that B site. The trap will likely give away the information, while then, Yumpy is alone. He's got that off in hand, though. It's won the round with a single shot already, one fired off, and target not found, and he Did rightly it, it might have tagged up an S. Dina, I think, through the wall, perhaps. Either way, though, they can see the plan. A wise choice. He doesn't want to give his life for a little bit of extra damage and maybe give an operator over to them. FNS, though, he goes for his own little bit of control, finding his first. But that's where it ends. The clutch for Crashies, the 1v3. And the time really not on his side. There's still plenty left for Liquid to play with. He needs to isolate a duel, and he needs to do his hurt. The initial steps, nice shot on the first. A chance to isolate, another it's gonna be the second, but he jumps up! And now that wall goes up and it's blocking him out. Time wasting away, Victor needs to make a move, and as he does, he's gonna be so vulnerable. Screen with the first, they reset to the back of sight. Hunter's Fury looking for them, trying to take them down, but it's canceled out. There's nothing to be seen here for Optic, no advantages to be gained. Scream, he'll go down in the ult and be caught by Marv. But a 4v2, Crashies on 10 HP. It seems impossible for Optic, they need a hero. Crashies does well to find the first, but Marv has to find a way out. Oh, okay. The rolling thunder oh! comes in, the swing, oh! and Crashies has three. The spike can be retrieved, and the round might still be up for grabs. Oh, he's got the timing right, lands the first shot. Last player incredibly low. It's on to Crashies again. He should get the little bit of information, knowing exactly where his opponent will be. But can he finish off the round? He started, no, he cannot. Once again, an incredible attempt from... Brought through from Victor, so there is still a lot of potential in this round. Again, though, look at the screen, actually, there you go. Ye has managed to find the space, and now they go into the B site, and it's actually just gonna be the trade out. It's on to Yumpy again. The screen was stunned up, gunned up, taken down. Yumpy's gotta leave. The side is theirs. Opta come in with disadvantages, but with this Viper's Pit coming into play, the round may just be favored to them. In fact, I think it quite clearly is. Team Liquid yeah. committed their own pit on the A site. And what a mistake that now appears to be. Such a tough spot to fight back into, and that's exactly why even the weakest of weapons become so uh. strong inside this pit. They're starting to carve a way back in, but the Viper's still to be dealt with. Finesse tucked in the corner with a stinger. He hopes they'll be decayed by the time a fight comes through. Oh, and they've got it! That what? is disgusting! Austin just spams in smoke, spams through walls. Demotivating, but they won't let it get to them. Up on mid and hold on! He's still fighting! Yumpy's down! He's gone! The opening duel for Victor, the space claim. This is what we've been missing for Optic. Now they've got the rifles, but look at the counter push. Team Liquid are up through mid. Screams, whip, and FNS, he punishes. They're ahead and they're keeping their lead for a moment. <laughs> Mere and moment. then Demasic comes through with one, oh. with two. Not again, Optic. Not like this. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, he has at least turned it back into a comprehensible position. The problem is the where the spots are of their opponents. One down the back of mid, timing for Navira is not bad. He's gonna peek out, and Sokas gets the other one. Going in here to see if they can steal another one away. 
And that duel starts it out well when crashy has gone. But Ye is still here, still dueling. Time as well. And the now, main thing yeah. is the time. You can't get rid of four, uh, three players, excuse me, this quickly. Oh, well, you'd hope not. Soulcast at least making things a little bit more costly. And just looking to try and find this through. The headshot's connected again! And he's gonna clear them all out. The time way too far gone at least. And looking for a duel. And on the other side, Ye was contemplating the peak. Is Tour de Force ready? He's been spotted moving up. There's Ye's response okay. though. He was ready to trade it right off the bat. They were hoping for a push. Maybe a little caught off by how aggressive it was. But now they might just get themselves to sight. Yeah, they can get around the utility, but the counter flash actually does deny them just long enough. Soulcast looking to try and spam through, but he goes down because of it. Ye looking like he might have finally come online in this matchup, and every peak is punish. It has taken a long time for Optic to get into the rhythm of things, even losing rounds from such advantages, but this one is looking strong. At long last, we're starting to see the, the Optic we expected today, but oh, he's uh, missed that him. position he's is missed fantastic for Victor. Absolutely fantastic. This round, surely, already closed half. They've looked shaky. Victor's on his way. He's through. Oh, they're stacked. Oh, he actually gets two kills from that. That's absurd. And the peek back through, they've pinched them completely. It doesn't look like the pistol record of Liquid is about to get any better. Left all onto Soulcast. He's been sublime, but he would need much more than just. But instead, Finesse oh. might just get the reward he's been waiting for. Trigger discipline not quite there. You can oh, understand why, two. but he still comes out with a double. Yeah, that's huge. So much done, and already a tag connected onto screen. This round is looking incredibly good for Optic. He gets another one before going down as well. A small amount of health healed up. Victor is low. Still some potential here, but already massive success in this round for Optic. They just don't want to let it slip away from them. Yeah, and as they're focused forward, Victor comes behind, claims the frag on Solkus, drops the spike, and leaves a healed up scream. Of course, he used his hot hands back to 67. That ain't gonna help too much. Rifles on the other side, Marved. The only man with a weaker weapon, and he is playing back at doors, just spotting, just holding control, containing. Final 10, he will swing through, stop this plant from happening. Ten seconds left. The round is done. Well handled by Optic, a beautiful help out on the speed push. Well, that's the thing as well, Crash uses, other than when he's jumped, he's been very, left. very good, and actually that dart has missed. That, that's a pretty big problem. They've still taken quite a bit of space. Yeah, he's gonna be able to connect. Bear in mind, he can't escape at the moment, but maybe he doesn't need to. The trade's through though, actually not too bad, and Victor's gotta be careful. He's now stuck between two different players. Maybe a little bit of an oversight for him, trying to be the hero, might end up as the villain. Oh, one step at a time, I said. Instead, it's one stumble for Optic. They're back into a 2v2. Demasic on the back of the site, but he is just distracting. He's jumping around. He's trying to make some noise, so scream. Oh, can we? Oh, wait, oh, okay. That wasn't what I thought he was trying to do, but go for it. All right. Go off, Demasic. Two kills with the Sheriff. The Pop off. Already though, I think he actually managed to stun up Scream while using the running back. So he's actually not going to get much ground whatsoever. Slow to a halt. Oh! He's jumping and shots him. Just absurd. Good response by Crashies. Can he make it out? The spams are coming for him. They can't see, but they'd light him to 76 anyways, and his steps are heard. Nevera waiting just around the box, but he turns his back at the wrong moment, and that will cost him his life. A foothold for Optic, and they're looking for more, but that costs Ye his life. His teammates nowhere nearby to get the trade. The roaming op deleted, and what can Optic do from here? They can lose one man after another. Finesse the final hope for Optic to take this buy round to avoid their economy going into the dirt and Team Liquid knocking on Victory's door. 11 to six, two more. So far, and a few people missing. Marv, someone we mentioned at the beginning of the day, still not really here. Oh dear. It's been clear from the start, this crowd is on Team Liquid's side. Wait, wait, look. And now they get loud, the push up close, Marv is good and finesse through the wall. A fantastic trade for Optic. A recovery on an early stumble, and look Ye at the, the spot. Corner. Ye tucked in, ready for one, TPing out, keeping the advantage into NA's court. That peak from Finesse, though, has come at a heavy cost. Finesse shock dogs might actually be able to do a lot of damage. He's forced him into the open. Ye he's surviving on his last legs, and once again, Soulcast left in a solid position. He's avoided. 
this Hunter's Fury completely. In fact, he's sneaking up on Ye, who might not have any idea of where he's gonna be. The first kill is free, and now Soulcast knows where he is, but Kratis, this time, will be able to close the club. Straight through. Joke's over. It's down Not actually. Dead. Yeah, we're gonna get the run it back through. Mid. Never mind, he's actually changed his mind. He wants to go hunting for Ye instead, forcing it back. The overdrive gets nothing. It can be a cruel mistress at times, and Yumpy already dropping another. Wow. This is looking like the beginning of the end. Just two players remaining, Ye and Marv, both on the same side, and already Marv is gone. It's left down to El Diablo, who has managed to find two. But a 5 HP clutch would be one for the ages. A 1v5 ace needed. He's gonna get himself a third already. Tagged up, but one for Ye! He actually has a chance in this! Just one more need, and he can't quite do it! An incredibly nice try from the man himself. around, But they have taken a tag. They have, but they spot the information for it. Still, as the smokes come down, I think it's apparent where the push is coming through. Scream, the first man to fall. Information on the site. I don't know that they saw Solkus, but they'll deal with him anyways. And a great headshot from Victor. That damage should make it so easy. And indeed, the wall bangs take Demasic down. Team Liquid locked out of the site. And a fantastic start to this map for Optic. And Baron Yumpy getting back in here is not going to be easy whatsoever. No utility to play with, just relying on individual skill. They don't even have any upgraded pistols. The only thing they have online is a heal. Which I don't know if that's something they're going to get to use. And you can just see the art of our position. So incredibly strong from Optic. Pit starts to move back, just lobbing the nade, giving away that he's actually towards this part of the map. And, well, maybe thought they'd run back from it. Instead, they've gone speeding forward, spotted a player in the corner, taking Demasic down, and Yumpy doesn't last much longer. Scream needs to go nuclear on the site, and only two. It's not enough. Upgraded weapons of land, and what was that? I think the Vera just thought he had some sort of timing, hearing the footsteps and wanting to get ahead of it. Instead, now the majority of players healed back up, and Solkas, the star of the last map, He's in between a crossfire that he should never be getting out of. And in fact, Mars is just going to ego peek him completely. Takes his head off 3-0. and oh. Giving absolutely no room to Team Liquid. No space granted. Finesse again up here on mid. Oh. He's been spotted. And this time he'll pay with his life. But look at the trade from Marv. They haven't cleared the box. And now they do. A blast pack play from Victor. And the sight seems to be theirs. Scream trying to sneak his way around. Might not expect him to be here this quickly. Oh, he's got to hope for a decent time here and nobody missing on the side of Optic. These rounds are looking devastating. Nothing Liquid is attempting in these early stages of working out. Afterplant already guaranteed and now Demasic. He's got to try and pull off a 1v3. Yeah, look what he's up against too. Victor's got a, his ult online, but a nade to play with as well. There's just so much time drain in play for Optic. Short of them just swinging out and giving duels, which you can see they are not looking to do. Demasic doesn't have a chance. Uh, you could just see the wow. confidence. Zero start. Ulti's coming here. online. Victor on a tear. Oh, we've got a crazy attempt here. A push coming through the teleporters. A pinch from the bathroom as well. Using the weaker weapons, their numbers, but Marv was waiting. Orbital strike in hand. He's got a kill. They've cleaned up some, but Solkus. That could be the chance they needed! Team Liquid! 5-0 down, they come in with pistols! Favorable piece of utility for the other side if he'd kept it up. This rotation is being watched as well. The timing is going to be the only issue. Ye has looked away and now you start to see the pounce of Yumpy. Scream has found another as well. Finesse has been able to trade him and now it's all up to him and the Vera will close. Back-to-back -back rounds for Liquid. Starting to plant safely from here. They want a little more. And it's Ye following the volley right in. That's perfect. A great bait to push them out of position. The crowd control now coming back as Ye is forced into his teammates Molotov. It giveth and it taketh away, but in the end, Optic, they're in a 3v3 with a Vite first pit post plant and Marved undetected on middle. That's the thing, this fight with Marv is gonna be the ending factor. And he's already managed to take down Demasic. A nasty surprise of him still lurking around this corner and they need to clear him out before they can get anywhere near that Viper Spear. He just did a fair amount of damage onto the Vera and now the aggression from crashes. But Solkas is more than ready for it. Turning things into an advantageous position for Liquid. He just slid the clip back in, that was so unfortunate. 
The sprays for Zolk is delivering another reverse down. And the defuse is underway. Finesse! He thought they'd fake it. They tried to bait him through the doors, but no! Just straight away, look at the rotation from screen. He's still going to try and join up with the teammates. And Optic, no, that means they have to go. Molly still keeping them out. They can't get through long. But they can, actually. It bounced off, but... Well, then the gun comes through on Demasic. Trades are good, but not good enough as the reinforcements arrive to be Team Liquid. Era doesn't want to swing wide. Just want to risk it on mid. They're just now spotting Finesse. Good luck on the way out. The orb up, and he'll make it into the TP. There's no way that he hunts him down. The snake bite through, but he's caught by Victor in the meantime. Great baits from Optic. Just making sure that he can't be caught and can use that orbital strike whenever he needs it. We'll also have the Molotov to rotate him through. There's so much time that can be bought on the other side and Crashies is going to drop the ult of screen. This is looking less likely as the seconds go by and every single duel going the way of El Diablo once again. Demasic, Navira, desperation on the cards as there is nothing to be found. One extra kill, but as I said, they are ready for these afterplant positions forcing him back into the corner. The time is already gone, and although there was a fantastic resurgence from Liquid, the half will go to Optic. The lead as they close this out. Very patient stuff from Liquid. They're gonna try and make a move once the toxins have gone down, and it's an entry for Soulcast. The pop flash giving them so much space, and the wall will garner them a plant. They've also caught Ye on the rotation. An incredible start from them in this second half. Can they convert? Uh, Demasic just had himself lurking for the teleport. Not a common position to be holding in a pistol, but one that has given them a massive advantage here. Five versus three. Finesse down. Crashies, the clutch player for Optic on the previous map. Himself and Marv have been playing well, but uh, not this well. That's a little too much to ask. Three more kills, an ace clutch for Crashies in time against him. The spike ticking away. He's got to run into a triple cross. Fiery isolates one at least, but in the real oh! Crashies! That fourth kill, unbelievable, but the clock is against him, and Solkus will drop it. Six on... The buy we see from FPX, where they haven't invested into other weaponry. They have invested into other weaponry, and while well, uh, not the best dodge of a flash I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think maybe expecting contact from his teammate and instead just getting shot in the face. Yumpy though low, a classic claiming another victim. And there's a player close, and they're running out of time. 25 seconds left for them to try and make a move. They're almost relying on Navira to get something here, hoping there's someone giving him a free kill within this smoke, but they're in a crossfire. Soulcast tagged within inches of his life as well, and they have no time left on the clock. It's gonna be Crashies to close it, a huge. They're going to keep a, a much heavier presence around here, though that orb stops any sort of off peak early. Seekers is gonna give them a bit of information of these positions. Victor, though, I think he just spammed straight through. Scream has been able to trade him back. Molotov at least going to slow down the plant and potentially give a chance to El Diablo, but he's not going to get anything. Ye goes down, but marved on the swing. It's now left on to Finesse. 1v2, he knows one's planting, going to try and isolate the other. He's spotted. Team is sick, the first is free! Can't get the transfer! So Stinger won't get an opportunity by the looks of things. It is going to be a full B play, but they're ready on the side of Optic. All these ultimates coming their way, though, surely gonna cause some problems. A molly kill as Dima goes down, and a few of these players are low. The frag out from Nevera buys them time, but they need to follow up, and Marv is denying it all. Yay in the smoke, and he's aware that they could be coming behind him. Both players on the other side, and they find the kill as it fades. Still, they have to fight back out. The spike is not Ooh. there's the nade. They haven't seen it coming. It'll do damage, but not enough to grab a kill. One HP on Solkus. He'll he'll scream back up. They need to deal with Victor. 12 seconds or so to get in there. Grab the spike. They need the kill. They've got to drop this man. He's still alive. Six seconds. Solkus needs to run, and he'll find nothing. A clutch for Victor keeps up the go. Map control that's claimed even just by the trap. You don't really need to be taking too many risks here. Yay, it's a nasty spot. And well, that's all he really needed. One kill off the back of the shorty. Tour de Force will be online for the next round as well when he needs it, but well, he's racking up the kills anyway. They're gonna have to heal up onto Scream to at least give a, a little bit more in terms of that rifle, but with 30, 30 seconds, seconds left, left, eventually they're gonna have to just blitz in. Yeah, Nevera going down. You don't have that Viper's Pit to fall back on anymore. Doubt they're going to be popping a res unless they 
flawlessly win these duels. That's a good start for Yumpy. But Optic have no. so many more players here. Now the Hero Rifle steps it up and Ye is gone. The Rez could no. come through with another! This round, it was looking clean for Optic, but Team Liquid have somehow stormed their way back in. That's not the right weapon for that range! And he hasn't cut the right pistol! He said to go to a Marshal! And now down goes that Viper's Pit after the Rez. To slow him down on the way back out, but the fact is instead they're pushing into the rifle. Finesse needs to get something here, he's just been domed! The B site somewhat open for business, but the fact is the rotation's coming from Ye. And again, he's so good in these scenarios, they have to back away. The thing is, we've seen a showstopper expended, and look at this position, up close from Crashies. That's exactly where you want the frenzy. He's even thinking about going in the smoke, the timing is so good! Another kill for Optic! Anything you can do, we can do better! Optic are on 11! <laughs> oh, they're not mentally boomed at all. Look at them, they're pushing all the way down. An aggressive finish to the game, it seems, as Victor is already gonna drop down to a wonderful start and a surprise for Liquid. Not a particularly good one at that. Yeah, he's waiting patiently as well. He's even gonna get the information off the back of his trap and quick enough to close down another 2v5. Almost served as a bait, but just that little bit too quick, pulling off the kill. Okay. Good shot for Nevera, but look how much more is against him. He has retrieved an operator from that, though. 2v4, grab a kill with the AWP, maybe. They have to deal with this flank as well, of Marv coming up behind, currently watching for it, and the kill is found. Marv on a tear this game. He's looked great, and with 16 <laughs> no HP, no I think chance. we can call it here and now. The defuse is underway, and Nevera has no chance of denying it. He's got a sprint at them, and it's already done. 13 to 8. Optics map choice, the map. Hangman's going to do a little bit of damage on the way through, but just look at the amount of space that Victor has already taken. The site completely under the control of this attacking side. The flash has come through. Yumpy has just domed out Victor. And they've been able to reclaim this much faster than you might have expected. But look at the push from Finesse! He's gonna try and fight it, but he's got nothing for it! Oh, what a push by Crashies! Recovering the advantage! Keeping the numbers in play for Optic, and he's resetting. He might even do it again! There he comes! And, well, the kill might not be his! But the round is Optic's, and that's all that matters, and nothing has gone in here for a Vandal. The one guy investing a little bit heavy, but it could change that win rate just enough. You're straight blitzing and flash around is perfect. That screen, he ate that flash. The sight not theirs yet with Yumpy, but he can't disappear. Two kills and that's all he'll get with an immediate shutdown on Solkus. The trade is as good as you could wish for in a round where Optic came in mostly without Vandals and now that's all they've got. That might be a bit of a surprise, but no, never mind. It's been spotted and with the Cosmic Divide, okay, it locks them in, but it also means that Liquid, they would need to try and have something to get through. The crossfire on the other side is going to make this a, a tough move to try and get back in. In fact, they might just want to try and hold them out. The bike's awkward. Nibiru will get one, but he's desperately low. Has to just look to fade away here and on towards Shaw. And there it is. Gumpy winning it out. Nevera up close, he's gone for a risky peek with the man advantage as well. That's a costly loss, they at least trade it back. But this, this leaves Demasig for a while alone. Luckily, Yompi's cleaning up those mid fights, and as Victor emerges, there's two players ready to fight. They've dropped Demasig, they've got themselves into a safe corner, and they'll slip underneath the door, oh, even throwing bait. some utility to completely bait them. They might think maybe one guy can be here, but two, it's never going to be expected. The numbers now equalized and finesse. Ow! They almost got collided! Victor on 50! But he's got the 1v1, the man he's. Clear to be checked, and maybe even a, a free kill coming through on the other side. The ult through. This could actually be very dangerous. If Scream doesn't find him, he could just go back. He's gonna wait for him. This is brilliant from Victor. He's waiting to get that final kill, and I think Scream has made the realization. He's gonna knife him to get them their fifth round. Embarrassment for thinking. But they yeah. still waited away on short this whole time. Ooh. That's been spotted now, though. Oh, and Demon Six what? points back, and yay! It's just too good in those scenarios. The individual skill of this man, unmatched within the server. And while Yumpy, the last time he had an operator, he was ever so close to taking left. the round on his own, I'm just a sliver of HP on Hold the other on. side. Hunter's Fury going through, won't be able to find him. He's still here, but the shot not connected. 
half HP or less, and it is easily countered by Ye. In fact, Finesse also holding those flanks. Liquid are being obliterated right now on screen. The only man that stands in their way from the half already being won. Absolute masterclass from Optic on this attack side. Seven and zero now confirmed the screen. A perfect pace change from them. Now, with the ultis online, Liquid are obviously content to play the retake. We are already having the Nightmare coming through. The Nightfall, excuse me, is the Nightmare attempts to take them, but Scream got caught. Trades are good. But for the ulti that was committed, I think they want a bit more. Dealing with the players on site doesn't look too easy either. There's just no inch being given. Damage done again and again, and they fail to find anything. When you to make a mistake, and when you don't, they're going to force you to you make one. Smoke down, but on the other side, the cosmic divided. Soulcast does manage to get himself one. Oh! Oh! pistol from Navera. How is this looking like the first round they'll win? It is a prime gaming flawless. Out of yay, they've had to actually post no players targets. up. However, that Prowler is going to tell them there's at least one here. Wow. They didn't know the other, and actually, it's still screamed to get the kill. The trade, though, is back so fast. Yeah, a fantastic reveal up and over by Solkus, but the response from Optic, they trade kills, they do damage to Scream, and now they're stacked up to take A, a one-way smoke fading as they attempt to swing the corner. Nevera beats them. Okay, tripling up in this round, nine to two. But they're not going to A. They're faking it out. Three players there. It means only oh. Divasic to hold, and Ye is seeking him out. Nine for Optic, and it could be double digits pretty soon. Look at this position. Surely not expected. They're actually oh, okay. are! They clear it! And the spike is only just making its way towards the site. Tour de Force now left. activated. Yumpy gonna get caught. They know that he's coming from behind. Even still, though, Mark, oh. he's just burning. Two HP, almost goes down. And now looking to try and pressure through Scream. He knows that this spot is being honed in on. Not wanting to give Ye that peak, and he won't connect the shot this time. They have been able to garner some space, but do they even know Marth is here? He's lurking within the smoke. If he gets the timing right, he might be able to win them the round. He might not even be needed at all, though. The timing spread through, and Ye is going to be the one alongside him to close it. We've heard of another through looking to try and take these early fights, and they have been spotted making their move. A pace. Oh, right out the way that uh, Optic, look. They seemed ready for him. Nobody's caught off. No one's in no man's land, and they've got double stack up on the site. Two players ready to take these duels now. A 4v2 as Optic win every single one. And the history of Team Liquid's pistols repeats itself here. 11 to 2. Could be diving, actually. So it's just finesse on his own. The Spectre's going to have to put up some numbers, and the timing is so poor. And it's been taken out by Yumpy. An opportunity here. Scream gets spotted. But actually, it's Yumpy again. He's just taken over this round. Three kills already. A lifeline may be possible. It's a little bit risky, but Navira gets the kill anyway. Marv now left alone, and he's going to be executed. If there was a hope in hell of this. Grenade down. A star waiting. A flash to pop. The swing from Victor could grab information, but he goes into the smoke. Unexpected in the follow-up from Marv. Trading it back and forth. Keeping oh, the advantage. What? what? Lost now. Ye thought he could sneak his way in, but he's been caught. And now Liquid given another chance to take this across the line to keep themselves alive. Demasic is so lucky to be alive. He TP'd into the site and still managed to headshot Ye before he realized the danger man gone. But this wraparound could be everything. Are they even going to expect it? They will now with the steps and Solcast up close is going to drop another. Liquid, they come back to make it five. And this risking on the push in the mid is going to allow them to have a very early flank. Already Marv, the man with the rifles coming behind, but they've managed to root out FNS. Nobody is on the B site, but if Marv can find the value, if that flank timing can be as good as it looks like it will, He's only got oh. the damage for now. The kill at least on the swing, but Ye gets traded. This is not as good as it could have been, but at least he finds another. This is keeping the hope alive, and Victor can get a rifle on his way back through. He was inches away from dropping the spike. The next man around was actually Demasic, but all in all, Liquid are not in too bad a spot. They'll remove some utility as well. Victor still has all of his flashes to play with, but he's going to have to wait for them to come back online. Gonna use the knife first, flash over the top, it leaves Yumpy completely blind, but it doesn't matter. 
They're going to connect both shots anyway. The distance. Behind. You do have screen with that run it back. Going straight through, but yeah, almost avoiding him at this stage. Not trying to find him, he'll get him with the nose scope, but they are pushing into this man's cross stairs. But it's only a trade out. It still gives the space back for a couple of players to peek in. However, the site has gone the way of Liquid once again. Fucking Yumpy. He is so late getting around here. It's being spotted for though. Finesse. Wise to his tricks has now caught the kill and main control. Team Liquid sectioned into the site. Nightfall on each side, thrown out. Solkus in trouble. He had a prowler on him, but the awful scream on the back side is taking kill after kill. The clutch player of Crashies. He's been so damn good, but this time it's not happening. Team Liquid are on. Even still there, they're going to make their move in towards this B site instead. The whole team going through. Finesse has been able to find one through the smoke. And Crashies at the back of the site has been hard to beat. Even still though, the IGL is stepping up! What is that from Finesse? He still has a teammate at the back of the site as well. And now the rotation's coming through. Finesse has done enough. And Volkol even came in. You saw the Shock Dark trying to hunt Demasic down. Now the last man alive. And not for much longer, three players peeking at Ye, a headhunter wall bang to the head as well. Alt in favor, firmly with Optic. And already they're gonna take down Dima Sick. This was not the start they were looking for. In fact, we're gonna see the Hunter's Fury out. Solcast needs to survive this and he won't. This is the beginning of the end. So much damage just done off that Hunter's Fury. And now Navira and Yumpy, 2v5 to keep them in the upper bracket. Team Liquid put up one hell of a fight on the way back in, but Optic have looked so good on these last two maps. Sure, they maybe lost the, the rhythm for a little bit, but here and now, the man of Ye, he'll be caught, but Victor won't. Always ready to trade. Every advantage closed out on, and Optic win this one with back-to-back 13 8 They're moving on and besting the EMEA team for the first time. Yeah, and another curse broken. They're not very good at winning their first game. Well